Oh man, y'all, I can't believe it took me this long to pick up on it. All right, the energy coming through, the reason it's been coming through all, I don't know about for y'all, but at least for me, it's going to be for people who have already had their Saturn return, right? So you got to be over 30 for this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and help you guys out, right? So you're already over 30. Whoever's energy this is, is someone from deep in your past, deep in your past. Some people might not even know about this person in your today life. <laughs> Ratting everybody out right now, right? Infinity 8. You know, Scorpio energy going on right now, right? Moon phases and secrets. What three things cannot be hidden so long? The sun, the moon, and the truth. Sometimes it's these weird alignments that trigger this stuff. Not a single room. That's never happened before. Get right into it. I think that's been bugging me for a while. This is going on in the 3D. That's what we're going to do in the physical reality. 4D, what's on everybody's minds about this. 5D, what the 5D thinks about it. Someone you have already been with. Not maybe, 110%, somebody you have already been with. Strong earth and um, not earth, uh, air and fire energy. I mean, just on the 4D. See, well, there's earth energy definitely on the 3D, but uh, on the 4D, you got these two energies getting ready to square off. I don't know if you guys have ever seen what happens when wind hits fire. This is crazy to me because I don't think they're going to square off or fight or anything, but now I kind of do want to pay-per-view that damn Leo King thing <laughs> just because Rich has his own special way of pissing people off, and I don't think anybody's quite aware of that yet, so it should be interesting. Uh, what a shallow plug that they got in there for me. I have never been with either of those two to clarify it, even though I've been accused of it, which I don't know why. My exes are crazy. All right. This, this is what happens in YouTube world, I guess. Right? Anyway, there's a lot of burdens going on here on the on the 3D. Right? The Six of Pentacles. Somebody is really in the Six of Wands. Or Six of Wands, Six of Swords. Sorry, I am just stumbling up today on my words. I get that somebody's really defensive of their money, right? And there's some sort of uh, rite of passage that's going on. Uh, 
I get with the six is though it's like there wants to be an equal give and take, right? There's definitely some sort of message that needs to be delivered, some sort of truth that needs to be delivered or is in the process of being delivered. I might just be trying to write it down. One of those text delete, text delete things. Or whatever the hell app you use to talk on. I don't know. I text. That's fine. This person thinks a lot. We got six of pentacles here again. This person thinks a lot about how your energies used to be when you were younger in the past, right? And the times that you failed, right? Those circles in the sand, right? They believe that they could be success maybe now. And they want to make a move, but there's these two energies that are facing off here. Okay. One of these energies is an energy that wants to come in. You put them where they're supposed to go. Right? Someone wants to drop the veil on something, have a rebirth, right? They're feeling very pulled in this direction, but they know that there's some sort of secret here, right? Someone wants to know who, like... Who is it you don't talk about? Right? There's somebody you don't talk about. And that's what they're facing up against. Whichever way that goes for you. Uh, they pick up on it too because that's why they're picking up on it now. That's what's created the cord. That's what recreated the link. If you've done a cord cutting with whoever was deep in your past, this other person, their focus on them, they found out about them from somewhere in the spectrum. It came out. And now they want to know about the person you don't talk about. Five of Wands, Conflict, Face of Pentacles. It causes a lot of conflict for them. Plant seeds. Some sort of justice that they want. Queen of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Universe. Kind of get the feminine energy in this situation is like, oh, this just is what it is, right? She's got her hands off the wheel. <laughs> That's all I'm picking up on, right? Justice at this point, what? The Defined Feminine Energy has her hands off the wheel right now, right? She's like, I'm just going to see what happens at this point. Just going to sit back and see what happens. What is that? We would be super cheesy like the Christians. Jesus, take the wheel. Well, I put it in the universe's hands. We'll see what happens. What's meant to be will be, you know. In these weird and winding paths, we kind of hit those points, right? We accept it, right? Well, that's really where the trinity of it all comes in. You become different people throughout your life, you know. For the feminine, it's the, uh, the mid and the mother and the crone. For the masculines, it's the youth, the warrior, and the sage. Or, you know. You know, we put the warrior in both and then put the, uh, you know, the warrior, the mother, the warrior, the father, and the sage, and the crown. All right. Oh, I'm shuffling these. We got a new beginning here. We got something about allegiance going on, though. My 
a bad girl. Because I, I don't know about y'all. I mean, imagine somebody from your deep past possibly showing up in your life because this is a possible timeline that's happening right now. Like, there's some sort of new beginning getting ready to happen. There's a lot of illusions around this, though. Like, this. Someone's really let go of, right? They're just watching to see what happens at this point. It's like. They're very, very grounded and sitting very still at the moment. But there is somebody about to make a move. I'm just looking for a really weird. If they want to come and they want to bring an apology about some lies about something they were overindulging in I get that they, they, they want to come uh, true about how much they've watched you you know what I'm saying there's this thing about the money again with the six of coins and some sort of justice, right? They want to like repay you for your kindness. Yeah, they're in a manifesting mode right now or they're beginning to with this page of coins or they want to make some sort of small offer. Aw. Something about victory and their heart here. Ace of cups came out. Get the Emperor, could be Aries energy here, the chariot, forget who that is, judgment. Oh. We got an emperor here, right? Definitely working on some skills, trying to build some skills up for something. They're feeling pulled by fate, right? There's some sort of judgment that they've finally made about what they want in their future, right? It's the marriage and union card. We need a clarification. Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, Queen of Swords. Oh, this person had to make a decision between the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. They were stuck in a third party situation. I don't think they expected to fall for this Queen of Cups, right? But the King of Cups can't help but look at the... But they're King of Cups and they can't help but look at the Queen of Cups, right? And it caused a lot of conflicts with this Queen of Swords. Yeah, he fell and then he ended up all stabbed in the back. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny. With this Ten of Swords, um, there was some kind of movement here. Movement for self-defense. Who made the move for self-defense? <laughs> <laughs> Queen of Stabs. <laughs> He's reading men. <laughs> oh, they're absolutely ridiculous. I'm sorry, because you don't understand what this shit does to people in my life. <laughs> All right. All right, so yeah, we got the Queen of Stabs here. Had to make them, had to make some moves, right? It could be a female fire sign there. Definitely someone in their divine feminine energy, right? They were in their own manifesting mode, right? As a feminine fire sign, it's easy to tap into that masculine energy, right? They got into their nine of cups, back into their own center, right? And then they, when they did that, it opened up all these connections to these old soul connections, to new soul connections, to, you know, that's what I always say with the love's guiding light spells and stuff like that. It's like you never attach a person to it. You just become a beacon of love and your soulmates will be attracted to you. It's just a lot of fire energy here. Okay, here we go. Ace of Stabs here. She has a lot of passion, right? Look, it's it's a female hand on that wand there, right? 
she's released the past, right? The past does feel left out in the cold, and this feels like a victory for her. Got try losing one playing right now. And I've been able to tune out the music the whole time. This is just coming through now. Try losing one. Look that song up. Because that's going to go a long way with this part, right? Someone is nine of swords, right? Self imprisoned, right? Because this victory for this empress, you know, now they recognize them as the empress, right? The empress to the emperor. Every time they look back, that's all I can see, and that's all I can focus on. All right, so that is heavy. I don't know what you've done, femmes, but you have shattered hearts across timelines. Congratulations, ladies. Now, I just want you to take a moment, take some deep breaths, do not cry, because you have already cried over this shit, and um, Remember to keep focusing on what's your emotions and what's theirs. Because we fall into these weird little holes where you end up channeling somebody else's emotions when you're an empath. And you need to be very, very careful that you're not crying for them. Do you get what I'm saying? Right? You used to do that for them. You used to be their emotional dumping ground. You used to shed a lot of tears for them. All them tears that they bottled up inside themselves and they couldn't cry. You would cry for them. And it's time to not do that anymore. Make them feel their own emotions this time. All right? Blessed be all those who walk these weird and trippy, trippy paths with me. I love y'all. And, um, yeah, give me a like if this one related.